Ann Silvestri lives life on the go for work, family, friends, and fitness. She's an avid walker and enjoys her time walking with friends. But one day last summer, she suddenly became winded walking up steps at work. Doing my walking all the way up the steps, and when I got to the top, I literally almost blacked out. And she knew something was off. I waited a while and got myself up, went up on the elevator, and worked the rest of my day. Having a history of high blood pressure and an at-home monitoring device, Silvestri said she thought it was blood pressure and medication related. Already on the go, the next day, she boarded a flight for work. Flew to Kansas City for a business meeting and flew home that day. And as I was getting off the plane, again, literally almost passed out and sat down and was like, there is something that's not right with me. Silvestri's husband drove her to Mercy Hospital St. Louis, where it was all hands on deck in the ER when she arrived due to her low heart rate. I think they were very nervous about me as with as low as my heart rate was and then walked in Dr. Wadwani. He did inform me then that we're gonna need to be putting a pacemaker in. Turns out the electrical system of her heart stopped working. There was a block up here. So the impulse would come here, but not go down. So it would not activate the ventricles and they would not squeeze and would not pump blood out. Silvestri needed a pacemaker. The pacemaker sends impulses to the heart Dr. Lalit Wadwani, electrophysiologist with Mercy Clinic Heart and Vascular, offered Silvestri the very latest technology, an upgraded pacemaker. Mercy Hospital St. Louis became the first in the state to offer the new, more natural pacing system. It is not a new pacemaker per se. It's more of a new pacemaker implant technique. The best part about this pacemaker implant technique is that it mimics a normal physiologic uh, electrical conduction of the heart. So it makes the heart beat normally as it would if the electricity was passing normally through the heart. And one thing that we have always known is that the normal conduction tissue runs in the septum of the heart. Previously, we were implanting leads anywhere in the heart in the right lower chamber without thinking about engaging the normal conduction tissue. It would pace the heart and that would lead to dyssynchronous beating of the heart. This new technology, what we're doing is that we're implanting the lead in the septum deep enough so that we can engage the conduction tissue. It basically propagates electricity as if it was uh, propagating naturally. And that leads to the synchronous uh, contraction of both right and the left ventricle. Wadwani says the new way is better for patients who need a pacemaker at work much of the time or all of the time. The newer pacemaker today works constantly. It's not waiting for the heart not to work. She was a perfect candidate. She's been using the pacemaker 100% of the time. And similarly, anyone who requires more than 40% pacing in the lower chamber of the heart will definitely benefit from this technology. The new type of pacing helps patients like Silvestri avoid complications that can be associated with traditional pacing methods. So that prevents any future weakness of the heart muscle, which would be caused because of a dyssynchronous contract. Silvestri knows she's lucky. I kind of feel like my old self again. For me, the biggest takeaway is, is that I hope I've learned to be a better listener to my body and immediately address it. You know, I have a lot more life that I want to live. It's very exciting. The entire field is very excited about this new technology.